Well, it's been an absolutely miserable week here in Carbondale. The temperatures have been below or minus 10 degrees, below minus 10 degrees for almost the whole week. And the coming week doesn't look like it's going to be much better. I had to rethink my temperature-based diet plan of allowing myself to eat donuts every time the temperature dipped below minus 10. That meant that this week there have been four days, including today, where it's a donut day. So that's not a good idea. Too many donuts, and I'm not even sure I like donuts. So we're going to have to rethink that plan. Also, my walking this week has been curtailed quite a bit. You can imagine that with high winds, or not high winds, but low temperatures and some wind, where the wind chill factor got down to about minus 28 one morning, I think it was, that I haven't been doing much walking. So I've been getting in maybe three, maybe the maximum of four kilometers a day for a lot of the days this past week. One day I didn't walk at all. So these temperatures are really putting a damper on my fitness program. I'm going to try to get a long walk in today. It's only minus 10 degrees this morning. Another donut day. But I'm pretty sure I won't be purchasing any donuts. A few years ago, I made a video about the obstacle course in Kuala, walking around in Kuala Lumpur. And now in Carbondale, Pennsylvania, it's probably just as much an obstacle course with the way the sidewalks are cleared after a snowstorm. <clears throat> we got a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, probably seven or eight centimeters of snow. And then we had some ice on top of it. Then it melted, then it froze again. So everywhere, you, every step you take, you have to sort of watch where you're putting your feet. Otherwise, you're going to end up on your back because there's ice all over the place. And because the temperatures have been low, it hasn't had any kind of chance to melt. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm trying to get a long walk in, maybe six or seven KMs. And it's a challenge. It is an obstacle course. Yesterday it was minus 22 degrees. I think I, I think according to the weather app on my phone, it said it was minus 23 for the lowest, but I think I got a picture of the minus 22 screen. So today at minus 10, this is like a Florida vacation. Much, much warmer. I'm enjoying minus 10 now. I never thought I would. This is all ice. It looks like it might be snow, but it isn't. Just ice. I think I mentioned a couple videos ago that I was getting ready to hit the road again. I still have no definite date, but I am getting my equipment together. And I thought I would make a few videos based around the kind of equipment one carries when you're traveling for long periods of time. So I'm gonna, I'm hoping to start that next week. Talking about things like, you know, fascinating things like flashlights, umbrellas, backpacks. These are the things that keep people awake at night. What kind of flashlight should I carry? Is my umbrella up to the task? You know, things like that. So you can look forward to that starting, I think, next week. If not, then you're just going to get another video like this where I ramble around town trying to stay alive in low temperatures. One nice thing did happen last week while I was shopping over at the local grocery store. One of my viewers, a gentleman named Shannon, stopped to say hello and said he watched some of my videos. I always like to meet viewers or anybody that watches my videos. He was the only, only the third person in the history of the channel to say hello. Two of them here in Carbondale and one in Kuala Lumpur. 
So if you see me roaming around town, don't be afraid to toot your horn or to say hello. I always enjoy it. Before I wrap it up here, I do need some viewer help. I'm trying to put together a video of 10 things to do in Carbondale, Pennsylvania in the winter time. Now I know 10 things might be a bit over the top. I have a list of three things so far. I'm not going to reveal what they are. You'll have to wait and see the video. But if you have any things that you do that are special in Carbondale that I could probably record while I'm out walking around or talk about while I'm out walking around, please leave a comment below and let me know. I think three things is not enough to make a video about. I need at least five. I'd like to have ten. Make it like all the other videos that you see on YouTube. But I'll take five. One other thing that I want to mention before I go. I know you can hardly stand the excitement. I can almost feel it. You just can't wait. <laughs> you can't wait for the video to be over. Anyway, if you haven't already subscribed to my sports development newsletter, and you like sports development or like to see or like to read what people have to say about it it's free you can subscribe and you get it every two weeks there's a link to that at the bottom or in the notes I guess the notes for this video so I'm gonna finish my walk I've got another like four or five kilometers to go. So hopefully next week we'll be starting our equipment reviews. So stick around for that. That's going to be, I'm sure, another edge of the sea kind of thing. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking my face over there on the left. That's it for today. I'll show myself out.